morning, good morning, good morning. Hope you guys are doing great today. I'm up early, it's about 5 a.m. Saturday. And what inspired me to get up so early on a Saturday and Sunday was uh, I was studying Michael Phelps recently. You know, this guy's a gold medal, you know, athlete, goddess, god. And I'm just amazed at how is this, you know, how did this athlete become the top 1% of the 1% of the 1% of the 1% of swimming? And uh, once I started digging into his biography and data about him and his trainers, you know, they said that he trains every day for years straight. There was one there was one biography, autobiography I was reading by his trainer that you know, he said that Phelps trained 5 years straight. No break, just constantly swimming. And the trainer would take him through exhaustive impossible exercises. You know, swim for 10,000 meters which would take two and a half hours and I, one of the videos I've included uh, in this post. But, you know, you sit back and you see how the best of the best of the best in the world are training. They are going after it. You know, they set these impossible targets and then they practice, they practice, they practice, they practice, they practice. There are no days off. You know, five years, seven years straight of practice every day. Day in and day out. I, you know, I'm amazed. Like, doesn't your body need a break? Uh, but I think it's I think it's a mental attitude. Mentally, you know, if you're going to make the excuse that you need the break, then of course you need the break. It's like, if you're going to tell yourself you're going to get into a car accident, you're probably going to get into a car accident. If you tell the self, yourself you're not going to win the deal because the competitor is too smart, too cheap, to too much value, too many features you don't have, yada, 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 of course you're not gonna win that deal. So I'm watching this video and I'm, I'm realizing, you know, I personally have always been dedicated to change my mentality to work on the weekends, you know, whether it's three hours, seven hours, eight hours, whatever it may be, and then evenings, weekend evenings take off because, you know, when you're working, in sales, when you're working the weekends, you've got eight days on the competition. Eight extra days above and beyond the competition that uh, wasn't available before. You know, if you take those days off, like multiply that by hours, let's just use 25 as an example. I mean, that's 200 extra hours you know, and then let's say you could work half of those hours. It's a hundred extra hours that you could put in that your competitors don't have because they're sleeping, because they're hanging out, whatever it may be. So it just made me realize, dude, I was sleeping in on the weekends till till sleeping in, you know, till seven or eight, and I'm I'm just like, I need to get up earlier. I need to act as if I'm training against Phelps in sales. I need to act as if. I want to win a damn gold medal, you know? So I've just recently dedicated myself today, actually, to waking up when I wake up during the week, which is at 5 a.m. I go to the gym, hit it hard for an hour, hour and a half, wake up, because while I'm at the gym, I'm thinking about all the deals, all the things I need to do, all the product development for our sales, all the deals in motion, you know, hiring, management, you name it. But <coughs> made me realize I got to start training harder. I got to start setting bigger, harder tasks. You know, if, if we're adding 100 sales prospects to the pipeline every day during the week, now we need to add 200 a day. You know, and, and I'm using this as a hypothetical for you. 
You know, if you're adding 100 prospects in the pipeline, you're making 20, 30 calls, 20, 30 personalized emails, 20, 30 social touches. Now is the time to step it up. Multiply that by 10 and start hitting it hard. And stop thinking that there are days off. If you want to be a gold medalist, an Olympian, a sales Olympian, there are no days off. You do not stop. You keep going. And, you know, I've, again, I've, I've always, the past few years, have worked the weekends, but I just realized I'm not even pushing myself as hard as I need to on the weekends. I'm not pushing myself as hard as I need to when I'm training, when I'm executing my sales prospecting, pitching, closing. You know, even though we step it up really hard and we go after it. I need to go after it 50x harder. You know, there are no excuses. If Phelps can do it, I can do it. If Phelps can do it, you can do it. You know, it's time we we step it up and we become sales Olympians. You know, we can, we can make it happen. So I just wanted to talk about, you know, Phelps training schedule. You know, trains every day, years straight. And his trainer takes him through impossible exercises. You know, swim 10,000 meters. That's two and a half hours worth of training. Two and a half hours worth of training. That's insane. You know, that that's two and a half hours swimming laps. And the goal is to swim as fast as you possibly can. You know how exhausting that is? You know? So don't... Don't complain and bitch about sending 50 personalized emails connecting with 25 people across Facebook you know across LinkedIn and Twitter you know there's champions out there that are doing 250 across all channels each and we got to strive to be one of them we got to we got to step it up stop making excuses Start ramping up our training. And for us, sales sales training, for you, for me, that's actually executing every day our sales prospecting, our pitching, our closing, our appointment setting, our winning of deals, our business cases, our CRM management, you know, our sales strategy, our sales scripts, our sales writing, our sales content, our engagement across all these networks, every day executing it as hard as possible with impossible goals, impossible activities, as well as specifically training and and training being studying the craft of sales and how to get better and better and better and better. You know, because Phelps, you know, when you think about training and studying, that's like for Phelps, it's like watching video, learning different exercises, but he's in execution mode. When, when he's training, that's execution, swimming three hours, you know, in the morning as fast as he can to get a record time. That's execution. So for sales, for us, for you, me, all of us, execution, our training is the list building, the sales research, the sales context, the calling, the emailing, the social selling, the pitching. The closing, when someone tells you to go F off, to unsubscribe, I'm not interested, no budget. I need to talk to my boss, I need to talk to someone, I'm not the right person, you name it. And being able to fight through that, pitching when you're up against five competitors who all have been in the business 10 years longer than you, but you know you, your team, your company, your product is the best for that client, is the best for that prospect and doing whatever it takes to build the solution, build the business case to get through the door. That's sales Olympic training. And we gotta figure out, me, you, all of us, how can we be more like Phelps, the Olympic gold winner? How can we be a sales gold medalist? How can we win that sales gold medal? So I just wanted to share quickly before I hit the gym this morning, uh, it's early, you know, just wanted to share a little bit about what I learned with Phelps 
training, Olympic training, how he's been able to win, you know, godly amounts of gold medals and uh, really become the world record holder, you know, since the last record uh, owner before Christ. Uh, it's just insane, you know, if you think about it. And um, how can we do the same in sales? How can we become the best of the best? How can we become the top 1% of the top 1%? And I know I'm not doing enough. I'm not doing enough. I'm, I'm not doing 150th what I need to be doing and it made me open my eyes and I'm going to step it up and I hope I hope you start to step it up. So thanks for tuning in. It's Brandon Bornanson, CEO and founder of Seamless AI. You know, my mission in life is to help you maximize your sales, maximize your income, maximize your life. Tweet us at Seamless AI and, uh, you know, sign up for beta access for your own personal sales assistant powered by artificial intelligence at Seamless.ai and uh, have a great weekend. Make it productive, crush it, start training, start sales executing like Phelps. Let's win some gold sales medals and become sales Olympians. Cheers.